My name is Bastian Gleesh. I am 37 years old. Come on. <laughs> My name is Bastian Gleesh. I am 20 years of age. And what was the last thing? That was it. That was it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My name is Bastian Gleesh and I'm 20 years old. It took way Three too long. Minutes later. <laughs> My favorite movie is The Room, directed, written by, and led, acted by the Starring? Starring? Okay. My favorite <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you're editing this. <laughs> Holy shit, this I can't do this so in one funny. take. My favorite <laughs> My favorite movie look, quiet on set. My favorite movie is The Room. <laughs> written by, directed by, and starring Tommy Wiseau. Student assistant of the librarian's technology desk head person. Guy. What I do is I make slides for the TVs in the library. And I also work in restaurants sometimes. What do you study? I am currently studying computer science and physics, and hopefully math soon, um, if the school will allow me to do that. And uh, I would also consider myself to study music on my own regard and art. Let me tell you what, I'm in a relationship with God. He visits me every day. In the Tells, form of Ali Brault. In the form of Ali Brault. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with the person behind the camera right now, Ali Brault. See, I'll get it, I'll get it, this. In front of the camera. And, uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I do not have any children. Thank God, obviously. I hope, unless, Ali, you have something to tell me. Here's the thing. So I went to the drugstore today, and I... So this is my living room here. Um, I have all these nice lights around, and I think the reason I chose this location, specifically this couch, is it was really an homage to the couch that I had in Knowles North last year that I stole from the lounge. Sorry, Will. There was something beautiful about that couch. It really represented the college experience for me. So, while we don't have that couch right now, we have this couch. You know, I'm usually the type of person to think about the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But the best thing... Hmm... Probably living in France for two years. Not for any particular reason. I can't really pinpoint that it was an amazing experience in, in general. I think it was just good for me to get out of the US for a few years and experience another culture. How old were you? I was actually in kindergarten and first grade. So for me, that was a pretty formative time in my life. It was really cool to be in another culture during that growth period. I think my biggest regret is not being able to see my friend before he passed away when I was in seventh grade. Because that was something that still followed me to this day, is, is the not having the closure that I was looking for. I think while that is one of my biggest regrets, it's since allowed me to try to cherish the time that I have with people more. Okay, well, I would want to live, I mean, I don't know, like 70, 80, 90 years, perhaps. But what I want to make sure is in those last 20 years of those last 10 years, I want to be able to use my body. I don't want to be in pain constantly because I know that's something that can happen when you get older. Uh, I want to actually be able to use my brain as well. So I guess I really want to only live as long as I will be able to use my body and use my brain. I see myself potentially being on a street corner, homeless, tired, you know, dirtied. I could also see myself living in a really, really nice house with a really, really nice job and a whole lot of money. I could see myself wandering with no money, but with a lot of happiness and, you know, a whole lot of things to do. I don't really see myself anywhere. I guess I'm kind of open to the fact that my life could go anywhere at any instant, and I may not have control of that right now. In some ways, yes. I think that I'm setting myself up to be happy in the future, and I'm currently sacrificing some of my time now for a payoff further down the line. If you are not happy right now, Bastion, and this is the future, and you have a lot of money, then spend all that money on changing your life and getting yourself to somewhere you want to be. And if you are happy and you're not making a lot of money, then keep doing what you're doing. And if you're happy and you're making a lot of money, then we made it. So there's a lot of people 
have been seeing this 2038 such as Will saying, hey, don't be a piece of shit, and if you're fat, fix that. That's not really what I'm concerned with. Um, what I would say, I wish you could talk to me. I don't really care as much about talking to you, because you know what I have to say, but I want to hear what you have to say to me. That's the tricky part. I guess what I would say is, I know that we have some sort of vision right now, and maybe that vision is going to change, and maybe we're not going to follow through with that vision. But I want to make sure that wherever you are, you remember the effort and the time that was put in here to get you to where you are. Is that it? I don't know. This feels inconclusive. I feel like I'm not answering questions the way I want you are, to. I mean, you can go back and answer anything. What do you think? I think they're perfect, but... <laughs> yeah, you're my girlfriend, though. Yeah. You are I can mine. still be critical, though. You can. Bye, sweetie. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Bye.